what's up everybody um hope you guys are having a good night tonight uh just a little quick video i contacted funimation to ask about some i want to do some what do you call those reaction videos to like certain animes and stuff they produce especially in my my hero costume you know i cosplay mr compress from the series and i want to ask them is it okay to go ahead and post this stuff to youtube and because you know a lot of people will post reaction videos to animes and stuff like that and contrary to popular belief if you are a lawyer or something like that i'd love to talk to you probably do a, like a back and forth discussion on stuff like this but a lot of youtubers don't understand what um fair use means and they get mad when stuff gets taken down i mean the youtube subreddit is filled with people who don't understand how copyright works and you, a lot of people you see who post reaction videos are technically are not in the clear to do that and they could get their channels removed from just by doing it you know but a lot of people will use the guise of where it's fair use well technically you can't just throw that around every time you post something because it doesn't work you know same with me with like say sonic soundtrack so soundtracks you know i've done that in the past and still do it but with that that is because sega has never moved on it and the you know sega pr team they're usually okay with that as long as you don't try to monetize you know sonic music and stuff like that i've never had an issue with them when you start sticking ads on videos especially game soundtracks that's when you run into issues when you go on certain videos if you go into like a game soundtrack and you see an ad pop up usually from what i've experienced from the soundtracks i've uploaded no company does that but if you start seeing ads that means that person's trying to run ads off that and make money from it that's what gets people in trouble that's what makes people take down soundtracks because certain idiots out there try to do that um and then sometimes you may have the company try to come on there and say hey we're gonna run ads on your video but usually what i get is just companies tracking that song like there's a few sonic songs i know that sega just tracks to see what's going on with it um but anyway you know fair use like i said does not work for reaction videos all the time uh, and anyway here's the response i got from funimation when i asked them how they see um reaction videos and stuff of that nature and I just go and read it. You can see it right here. Um, I had it in my email, but I posted it on my Twitter because I didn't want to have my email just blatting it. It was, it, whatever. <laughs> While we greatly appreciate your desire to create a new works with footage from our shows, we cannot expressively grant permission for you to do so. Under US copyright law, when such permission is granted with a simple sure, you can create your own videos from ours, a limited, non-exclusive copyright license for derivative work is created. The implications of any form of copyright licensing can be significant. As such, it is Funimation's policy not to grant any copyright licenses without a detailed, term limited sign agreement. Such agreements often must be approved by the studios in Japan where the anime originated. Additionally, these agreements must be tracked by Funimation to ensure our infringement specialists do not enforce our copyright rules against a valid license. Because the process requires ongoing effort, Funimation does not enter into such agreements except in a commercial context. Example, if you operate an established business capable of mass producing anime related merchandise for sale to the public, Funimation may then enter into a licensing agreement with you. I'm going to scroll down here. However, despite these restrictions, please understand that our infringement specialists seldom target AMVs or true parodies. Many anime parody series are not, in fact, parodies under the doctrine of fair use. Regardless of whether the fan-made video constitutes a true parody or not, our standard is, one, whether or not the fan anime video would be viewed by some fans instead of the actual show. So basically, if the fans are going to watch your prod watch your AMV instead of the anime, they're probably going to take it down. Um, two, whether the fan-made video spoils too much of the show by revealing too much. Of course, if you post way ahead of what's going on, like say My Hero, thankfully that's semi, I believe. And so the dub and the sub kind of air at the same time. So that's that's kind of a better area right there. But if you got way ahead, kind of like say, Dragon Ball Super back in the Jiren fight was going on, um, that could be something they come after you for. Um, though this is the current policy, note that this is policy may change at any time without warning. You know, um, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more. While I will not be able to answer any further questions about your initial query, which was basically, can you post, you know, 
parody video or reaction videos, you know, please let me know if you have any other issues or concerns and I'll be happy to help you. You know, and like most companies, Funimation's just saying they can't get involved with copyrights and stuff like this unless you're a big company and that way you can enter into like a business agreement with them. But for like smaller people, there's not much you can do. You know, sure, if I get my channel up there and made, you know, a million subs or something, I'm sure they could probably do something with me, but right now they're saying they can't do anything or grant any permission because if you do, the legal issues with that is, you know, if you if they said yes to one thing, you could probably run with that and try to use it in court or something against them. So I can see where they're coming from somewhat, but they haven't come after my video. You know, I've only done one, and that was me as Mr. Compress, you know, and viewing an episode of Mr. Compress, and I took some scenes from it and made a little funny video out of it. You know, that seems to be okay so far. But the thing with these videos, like I've said in the past, and I'll say it again, um, even though you upload a video to YouTube, and it's a parody, even if it's, you know, yada, 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 you did a reaction video, just know these companies can come out of anywhere and take your stuff down. They can even give you a strike if they wanted to. And yes, you can tout fair use, but usually with big companies, it's not worth the risk. Um, make sure what you're doing is not basically literally posting the entire anime, even if you gray it out. That's still technically, you know, that's not, you know, people say why well, I edited the video. Basically, you're still playing the anime. You just put like a gray texture filter or chroma screen over it. You know, no, 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 no. It still can get taken down. Um, but I still do hope in the future YouTube kind of reworks its copyright system because I do think it's really strict. Um, I still get... You know, every Friday they send me an email saying, hey, check out these videos that people are using your stuff. Do you want to copyright strike them? And it will be huge channels, you know, that may have 20% 20, 20 of like a video that matches mine. I could take it down if I wanted to. I really hope they fix that in the future, but um, that's it. I just want to let you guys see that and read it yourselves, you know, um, because like I said, I see a lot of people on Reddit talking about the copyright systems and when it comes to parodies and stuff. Just be careful out there, guys. Seriously, it's not worth your channel, especially when you start getting bigger. When you're starting off, you got 20 subscribers or something. Heck, I tossed the, I tossed the uh, Code Geass anime back up there like I did back in the past. But um, at this point, I wouldn't risk something like that. You know, that's why there's certain like game soundtracks I won't post the whole thing to or stuff like that. Like Sonic, I'm gonna eventually finish that. You know. Um, I have the files, I just haven't had time to really just sit, cause yeah, sit there and go through each one, there's so many. Um, but there's some game soundtracks where I just don't push the limits on what I post, like uh, Armored Core and Devil May Cry. You know, I have a few Devil May Cry tracks, but I'm not gonna post the entire thing because I know Capcom's kind of, eh, they're kind of iffy with that kind of stuff. They're pretty nice, but at the same time, I'm not gonna push my luck and just post everything, you know, so. Um, like I said though, one big thing is don't run ads on it and you should be a little bit better because if you start running ads on the stuff, that's when they're going to come after you more. But um, that's it for now guys. You saw this one. I got some more stuff to do. But until later, I'll talk to you guys. Stay pixelated.